Hello managers, I'm Thomas Rye and this is FIFA Rosters on YouTube. This is my first FIFA 16 video and I hope you like it. Got some new graphics going on. I've spent a really long time trying to get my sound synced up with the game and all that kind of crazy stuff that's uh, really a big headache. We're starting off the FIFA 16 season, FIFA 16 series, whatever you want to call this, uh, with a brand new series, and I'm calling it The Hard Hustle. It is a bottom to the top road to glory type of thing, but I've got some rules that I've put together. I think it's going to make it really fun, a little bit challenging, so let's jump right in to that. So here we have it. Uh, the text may be a little small, so let me just jump down this list. You can see this is the hard hustle, and I call it that because I think it is going to be hard, and I'm going to have to hustle because right there at the very top, you can see every position in my top 18 has to start with a 50 rated player or below. 50. Yeah, that's like bottom of the barrel. I was going to do 45, but there's so few players with that low of a rating that I figured let's just go 50. But that said, I'm going to start by looking in my club to see if I have any 50 rateds or below, and I can use those uh, to, to start my roster. But then I'm going to jump into the transfer market, and I'm just going to have to buy the first 50 or under rated players that I come across. So it's going to be a pretty nasty looking starting team. This is not going to be one of those videos where you do what I'm doing to get yourself a good starter squad. That's that's not what this is going to be about. This is going to be a challenge. So here's how I improve my squad. We've got player credits and player debits. Let me show you something that'll help this make a little more sense. This is the hard hustle dashboard and you'll see that we have a squad kind of there on the field. If you count them up there's actually only 10 players and then one sub. The reason for that is because this is not a formation that I would use. Obviously that would be the weirdest thing but it is, it is kind of fun. Anyways, I have all the positions on the field. Striker, forward, center forwards, those get lumped into one. I've lumped left mid and left wing together as well as right mid and right wing. But let me know in the comments if you think those should actually be separate. Uh, I'll explain how this all works as we go on. You'll see cam, center mid, CDM all separate. Uh, left back and right back are paired with their wing back positions and then there's one center back and one goalkeeper and as I said before there's one sub position so the whole team has to start with 50s that's why you see a 50 on each one of these cards and they have this bronze color that will change as they get better now that you've seen this let's jump back to the rules so a goal is gets you a plus one at that position. So if my striker scores a goal, which is pretty likely to happen, he is going to get that position, not that player, but that position is going to go up one. So I can trade out my 50 or lower rated striker with then a 51 rated striker. And obviously if he scores more or gets more points in the game, that position is going to have a higher cap. And I can always use a lower rating as well. So the credits, you get one for a goal, you get one for an assist, you get one for man of the match. If you score a free kick, you get a bonus. So actually you get one for the goal and one for scoring off of a free kick. Uh, and that's direct, that's not a header from a free kick. Uh, you get plus one for a hat trick on top of the three that you already get for the goal, the goals. Uh, a clean sheet gets one for the goalkeeper and all the defender positions get a half. So hopefully we can keep a lot of clean sheets, get those defenders rate ranked up. Uh, winning the division title bumps up the entire squad, including the sub position by one. If a sub comes on during the game, he will score points 
for his position that he's playing and also for that sub slot. So that's going to be a difficult one. I don't, I don't know if I'm going to be able to stick with it, but my thoughts are that all my subs to start out have to be 50 or below. So I can't bring on Messi or something, you know, after the first minute and then go just like kill it or something. My subs have to fit into the slot that they're coming into. So I can only have guys on the bench that match that sub uh, card cap. Does that make sense? I hope so. So on to the debits. If a player gets an own goal, he gets two taken off of his cap. So I'm, I'd have to switch out with a crappier player if I'm right at that top level. Uh, if I get a hat trick scored against me, it's a negative one for all defender positions, including the goalkeeper. So that, that's a hat trick from one player on the opposing team, not just three goals. Um, some punishments. If a player of mine gets a red card, I have to quick sell that player. We're not keeping around any Joey Bartons or anything. We're going to kick him out. Uh, but I do get to keep those coins for, for later. So here's uh, another big piece to the hard hustle. There's something called the team bank. Now what these are, these aren't positional points. What it is, is that uh, the team bank will be points that I can use for other things such as using a consumable, buying a player off the market, or buying a pack. You can see that in the coins, packs, and consumables section there. So the way that you earn team bank points is you get a goal for your team, the other team gets a red card. Uh, for every win, you get two team bank points. For promotion to the next division, we get three. Um, winning the division title gives you five. Relegation is taking three away. Loss is taking one away. Uh, a goal, every goal against is minus one, and every red card is minus one. So if you get a red card, you got to sell that player, and your team bank takes a hit. Um, and as far as FIFA points go, I currently have 100 FIFA points to carry over from uh, FIFA 15, but I, I'm not going to be one of these uh, guys that's out there just like spending 12,000 FIFA points. The times that I will use FIFA points, and this is important, for every like and subscription, new subscription that I get, those will go into the FIFA point uh, pile. Uh, those will those will get tallied up with the FIFA points, and I will uh, go and buy actually buy FIFA points in 100 point increments. So as soon as we get to 100 likes, 100 subscriptions, or a mix therein, I will go and buy 100 FIFA points, and then we will use them in the Hard Hustle series. Also, just a quick note: I do accept donations, so if you decide to do that, it is going to go straight into helping this channel and improving the things that we do here, so we could get more FIFA points to use that way. Also, so now that we've discussed all of the rules for the hard hustle, I hope that I haven't lost you, and I hope that wasn't too boring. But let's just look in here at my club and see. First of all, we're going to make new squad and let's see if we have anybody at all that's going to fit our ratings these are all too high too high oh jeez is that it? <laughs> I have one guy that I can use, and he's a 49. So, we're going to have to hit the transfer market and fill in this squad. Okay, so it's time to jump into the transfer market and search for basically the lowest players we can find. <laughs> Not your normal search. Oh, uh, geez, it's going to be so hard to find. 47! We've got... A goalkeeper. And I I really don't even have to worry about anyone like outbidding me because there's just there's no way that anyone else is doing this. 
actually keep I'm I mean I'm looking at 54s and I have to remind myself oh that's too high that's that's too high it's ridiculous okay here's a CDM all right oh another goalkeeper oh gosh I don't want to fill up with goalkeepers though another CDM hey 46 gosh freaking goalkeepers oh jeez so hard to find crappy players anymore. Oh, here we go. So I got a little kid for Toronto FC. Here's a 50. Gosh, I about looked right over him, and he's a striker, which we could use. Uh, 47 left back. Sweet. Oh, we'll take him. 51, too high. Sorry, buddy. Come back when you're worse. Come on, 50. Sheesh. I mean, there are a lot of 50s in here. Oh, there's a 50. Sweet. <laughs> this is so weird. You, you watch these YouTubers and they're, and they're you know, flipping through these pages so fast or they're opening packs and they're just like, oh yes, I got a, you know, a rare gold. I got a 90. I got an 86 or whatever. And here I am flipping through. I'm like, oh yes, a 50 or a 47. Sweet. It's, it just feels like Twilight Zone. Uh, are there any rare 50s? Kappa. Oh man, come on. Oh, 51s. 51s abound. 49. Oh, freaking keeper! There's a, a lot of really terrible keepers out there. Yes, another s center mid. Okay, I'll take this guy. Oh, I'm just like zoning out. It's like mid 50s page after page after page oh, oh there's a 47 yay hey he's got 69 pace 17 defending gosh i don't know that i've seen that low anybody i mean i know he's a striker but Jiminy christmas you just keep thinking that there's gonna there's gonna be another 50 just right around the corner so excited well let's just go line these guys up yikes so there you have it this is going to be my starting squad for the hard hustle and holy crap it is going to be hard i mean when was the last time you saw 47 on someone's squad uh starting <laughs> and he's not the only one there's two 47s and a 48 i did manage to get 50s uh the rest of the way and that does not include the subs so hopefully we can start this series out with getting some goals, racking up some assists, getting that team bank filled up so that I can start to build this team into something a little better. I'm scared to even get on the field with these guys and see what they, they are capable of or not capable of. Hey, thanks for watching. If you're excited about the hard hustle, please help me build this team by leaving a like or subscribing to the channel. And if you know of any crappy players that I should try and get on the team, please leave that in the comments. I'm Thomas Rye, this is FIFA Rosters, and until next time, keep doing what you do best and lead them to the cup, boss.